All right, what's up, everybody? You got your boy Blue Water Mike back in the house. Here we are at the Alawai Harbor on this beautiful Sunday morning. And as you can see, everybody's out today. Look at all the trucks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Everybody's out. Even Virgil's out. Either Virgil or Mike, because his boat's missing. Yep, so here we are. Um, it's about eight o'clock. We are running late today. But then again, it is Sunday. And if you look at the trees, absolutely no wind. So it's gonna be a beautiful day. I'm taking out the boys to go fishing. I got uh, <clears throat> uh, Nick the Samurai, and I got Alakai Mechanical. So we got the two boys. We're gonna run the ledge. We're gonna go towards Cocoa Head, and I'm gonna take them to do some bottom fishing because um, they had a blast last time. So, yeah, let's see what the water holds. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. All right, let's get it. Let's do it. Yeah, you, Captain West, right there. Beautiful boat. Shamrock. Yeah, you. All the kayak guys out today. Oh, Fritzy! <laughs> All right, guys, don't forget to put on sunscreen, <laughs> or else your wife's gonna get nuts. And you know what's funny? No matter where we put sunscreen, put sunscreen on our face, our necks, our arms, and you know where we seem to get sunburn? Our feet. So put sunscreen on your feet, the tops of your feet, so you don't get burned on the top of your feet. But yeah, put on sunscreen, guys. Don't forget your hat. Don't forget your shades. Yeah, you. Beautiful day. Look at that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. It's a gigantic hoggy. Uh, oh, it's sad! Oh, it is Rika! Psych us out! Oh, it's your gut! Jesus! Oh, Watch your finger, watch your finger. Alright, so the boys got enough bottom fish for now, so. They want to go back into the shallows where uh, we caught the Aba Aba. Uh, 
couple of days ago. So we're gonna try to use the the teeny tiny crystal minnows. I think it's like four and a half inch. And uh, see if we can pick up anything in the shallows. Yeah you. Big turtle. Hey, buddy. All right, so we had a couple of bites, and uh, but nothing really stuck on the inside. We uh, we picked up two divers. We took them into Kewalo, and it looks like we're gonna pick up another one. Shit, what's going on, man? Oh boy, and my wife wants to know why I'm late. <laughs> now I get in with excuse right here, Hawaiian. Right on. I don't know who saved whose life today. <laughs> he said God is trying to condemn him because he was supposed to be Bible study today. I was Bible studying in the water with the phone. It was Bible study, brah, this guy is a clown. So yeah, we picked up his two buddies and then uh, now now we got him. What's your boy's name, the two guys? Kale and Richard. Kale and Richard, hey, we got your boy. Okay. Yeah, you. <laughs> yep, so here we are back at the docks. Everybody's safe and sound. Brother still wants to get his phone. It's in the ocean. <laughs> He's wondering if it's possible that it'll float back to shore. Brother, the phone not gonna float float back to shore, bro. Sorry. But anyway, yeah. So that's three catch and release today. And uh, so I guess it's a good day. Can I complain? Yeah. <clears throat> Got a little fish in the cooler and saved three lives. Yeah, you. All right. Let them know. Let them know. What's up? Yeah, yeah, I'm grabbing this guy. Yeah, you. Who's the fish killers? This guy. That guy right there. Slayers, the slayers. Yeah. All right. So here we are in the kitchen, and uh, I'm gonna do a catch and cook with this ah aha right here. Because a lot of you folks probably don't um, think it it's good, but in actuality, this aha is a really good fish because it eats other fish. It swims in the really really deep blue water and so I think we the boys caught this one at about I don't know 80 to 100 feet so we're we're bottom fishing and then uh, Nick ended up taking off his lead and then <laughs> throwing his Ika and there was about half a dozen of these guys swimming around the boat so he just wanted to catch one and so here it is, and we're gonna do a catch and cook today. We're gonna do SNS Simon and deep fried aha. Yeah, you. You know what I noticed? These guys don't have dorsal fins. Yeah. Yeah, you. All right, so here's a tip. Don't ever use your wife's cooking pot to fry fish. So I got this old uh, cooking pot that I use for frying fish. The reason why you want to use a cooking pot because this stuff is going to splash and pop and you don't want to use a frying pan. So these walls are your friends. 
Okay, so we got some, what is this? Canola oil in there, it's heating up. And then we're gonna put some good old, good old garlic salt because we're not feeling very creative today and some black pepper. So we got this aha here. Um, I'm gonna fry up and then we're gonna I'm gonna end up making some SMS sign in. So we're gonna be eating crispy fried aha with SNS Simon today. So yeah, that's our catch and cook. And for some of you folks that don't really care for aha, I'm gonna tell you something. This thing is white flesh. Look at that. That is like a miniature ono right there. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Tell me that don't look delicious. That's nice. When this fries up, <clears throat> it's very clean tasting. Very good. So we got that and we're gonna put some cornstarch or flour on there. You don't have to get too nuts, just get a little bit and then toss it around. Don't have to be too fancy with it. Okay, there you go. I'm in all right so I just want to let you guys know that you do not boil your noodles in there and then throw your 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 packet in the same one that you boil your noodles in you boil your noodles you put it on the side you re boil some hot water and you put your stock on the side all right don't do the lazy man's way of putting your noodles in there and eating it out of that and putting your broth in there after. That's just wrong, okay? So boil your noodles first and then your broth and your veggies after. All right, continue the video. So I got some one bok and some bok choy and we're throwing it in a fresh broth. So we heat that up, get this thing going. You don't want to overcook this now. So I throw my veggies in, it looks like a lot. It's gonna cook down. And this is the part where you can put your packets of uh, broth. Now, 
we're doing five packs of Simon. And so I'm gonna use all five packs of the bra. Just in case. I'm making a little bit um, a little bit more than not enough. But there you go. We got that going. We're gonna broth this up right there. Look at that. It's halfway cooked. So perfect time to take it out. Okay? Alright. So we're gonna take this out and put that onto the noodles. All right, guys, so here we are. Um, oh, I got that awesome SNS Simon. Look at that bad boy. With uh, char siu, green onions, one bok, bok choy, wakame, uh, ochazuke. Okay, and then we got that uh, deep fried blue bone stick fish here. Look at that. Oh man, fried in garlic. So, this is the best part of the show. Yeah, you. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna crack that blue bone stick fish first. Okay. Boom. Look at that. It's got these tiny little, tiny little bones in the rib. That's okay. I really don't mind it. So I'm gonna blast this guy. Mmm. Tastes like papillo. And then I'm gonna wash this down with some of this. Oh, look at this. My goodness. Mmm. Wow. Insane. Mm. Look at this. My goodness. Just awesome. And then this fish right there. It tastes like white fish. Tastes like papillo. Tastes like a snapper, kind of like a taape to all. Look, my wife, she's hiding. <laughs> she's eating in the back, her noodles, while I'm filming. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, anywho. Right on, thanks for um, coming aboard today. It was a fun trip. Um, we didn't catch a whole lot, but we caught enough. So this one blue bone stick fish is literally gonna feed three people, maybe four people with the sign in. So that's just the blue, the blue bone stick fish. There's a lot more fish out there, you know, in the cooler. So um, Alakai is gonna take it home for his family. And Nick the Samurai, he's gonna save some for after lunch tomorrow. He says he's gonna fry some of his nabeta up. I didn't get to film everything today. It's kind of short fishing day because I was actually fishing. And then on top of that, we picked up the two the two divers out stranded in the middle of the ocean, gave them a lift in. What was it? Keith and Richard. Bruh, why didn't you tell me that you was missing the third man? You know what I mean? We could have looked for him. 
but we ended up finding the third diver outside the Hilton Hawaiian village. So they left out of Kaka'ako, they went diving, and then I dropped off the two boys, Richard and uh, Keith, at Kewalo Basin. And uh, when we went all the way back into Waikiki, we found the third diver, you know? So, um, yeah. Anyway, you guys got to be safe out there. Stay together. And, you know, don't don't be shy to um, ask for help. Oh, which, by the way, Richard and Keith, they both asked the, the dive guys, the dive boat, for help. And the dive boats told them that they don't want to be liable for them. And left them stranded in the freaking ocean, bro. You kidding me or what? You guys freaking kidding me or what, bro? Huh? Unreal, bro. So, yeah, we got three. We got three catch and release today. Thanks to the, the, the powerful hands of the Lord. Just so happened we stayed extra late out there. Me and the kids, we just w wasn't... Going home, we wanted one more fish. That one more fish we didn't catch. But we found three humans, bro. So when you're out there in the water, brah, stick together, work together. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's a, a, a universal thing, bro. You never leave nobody stranded out in the ocean. Let alone two guys sw swimming, catching cramps. Freaking morons, bro. Anyway, positive note. My co Simon's getting cold, bro. It's turning to udon. So anyway, sorry about that rant, you know what I mean? I just, I just can't, no can believe, bro. Even my sons witnessed the whole thing, couldn't believe it. So anyway, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. <laughs> hope you guys like the catch and cook. This Simon is off the chain. This fish is really delicious. And uh, so, you guys ever catch an aha? Try it, you know, and um, Support local, eat fresh fish, and most of all, love one another. You know what I mean? So some of you guys know because you guys are the recipients of my love. You know what I mean? So yeah, man, take care of each other, love one another. Man, if those two kids died, bro, I don't know what these boat people would be, would be thinking. They probably wouldn't care. But anywho, all right, guys. Thanks for staying tuned. Look out for one another. Thanks for liking and subscribing onto our channel. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Yeah, you. <laughs> Keep it positive, guys.